Hello and welcome. I'm Mel. And I'm Natalie. And we are the product review gurus from Yoga Lifestyles. Okay, so today we're reviewing Zura Yoga. So that might sound familiar because we've reviewed Zura Yoga before. Yeah, we did yoga mats. Yes. But today we are reviewing one of the hottest products on the market. So it's either a really small yoga mat <laughs> or it's something else. This is the Zura Crystal Elixir water bottle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's crystal infused water bottle. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what that is and then we'll just dive right into it because these look really cool based on their website. I want to play around with it a little bit. So basically it's a water bottle with a crystal inside the bottle. Yeah? Yeah. They launched this product a few months ago and it was completely sold out in approximately a week, I guess. Like right away? Yeah, right away. <laughs> so it sounds like the most extra thing ever. Like why would you put a rock inside of your water bottle <laughs> and drink it? Yeah. But let's open these up and you'll see why they're really cool. What I really like especially about Zura right off the bat is Zura is actually Sanskrit for warrior for good. So already that's an empowering message. So on the back it says, intention in every sip, behind every action lives a greater purpose. By drinking crystal infused water, you absorb an essence that took millions of years to create. Whoa. And also it says, please note, just like you, each crystal is one of a kind and varies in color and size. Oh, so each one may be a little bit different, but it's like specially tailored to you. So they have four different crystals and it is amethyst, rose quartz, clear quartz, and black obsidian. Ooh. Okay. So let's pop it open. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. So, poof, what if it, <laughs> what if like <laughs> fireworks exploded? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's pretty secure packaging. Oh, and it comes with a little sleeve. Okay, this is really important because this is a glass water bottle. I can tell that it's a pretty thick, heavy duty glass, but as with everything glass, you want something to protect it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is awesome. It's like a fun little bonus. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, I have black like seating. Ooh, it's like a fortress. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this bottle is made out of stainless steel and glass, so it's antibacterial. It holds uh, 18 ounces of liquid, so solid. Um, and the crystal actually, it's unscrewed. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Cool. Now you know a lot about crystals. I know you did like a huge research. So yes. why? Why would you drink water from a bottle with crystal inside? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? It just looks cool for us. Yeah. It's like Instagrammable. <laughs> so you've heard of the chakras, right? Sure. <laughs> So basically chakras are the seven energy centers in your body and each chakra relates to a color and that relates to a vibrational frequency. So basically crystals, depending on their color, that's how they were formed and they emit a vibrational frequency that does something to the body, allegedly, that we don't understand. So again, believe what you want to believe. but. Um, there have been a few kind of fun experiments and stuff that have been conducted on just trying to understand what these mean. So this Japanese scientist named Masaru Emoto, he did this thing called the water crystal experiment and you can find information about it online, but it's really interesting. So have you heard of it? A little bit, but I want to know more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell me. So basically, Ice is a crystal, uh -huh. right? Right. So this scientist, he took different cups of water and what he did was he talked to the cups of water, said uh, to certain cups of water positive things, other cups negative things, angry things. He played a happy music to some, angry music to some, um, and then he froze the water. Ooh. Yes. And then here's where it gets crazy. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> tell me more. Yeah, tell me more. He, he basically looks at the crystals under a microscope. Mm -hmm. And here's what he found. 
so the crystals that had the positive, happy uh, thoughts and sounds, they were fully grown, fully developed, and just had all these like amazing, beautiful shapes versus the crystals that had the negative thoughts and negative sounds. They were like misshapen and underdeveloped and smaller and things like that. How so, interesting. Like, yeah. what does it yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know, but just uh, food for thought. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool story, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So let's talk about these crystals and kind of what they mean. Yeah, so finding your own crystal, it's like a personal journey. Oh. Yeah, so you kind of have this feeling that this exact crystal is what you need. So like if you're browsing online and you're like, whoa, like this rose quartz or this obsidian, I don't know why I'm drawn to it, but I just am. Does that mean that might be the crystal for you? Yeah, sure. Um, like it's good to understand what each crystal symbolizes. So let's talk a little bit about it. Awesome. They have like a short description right here, so we can talk what, so we can read what they say here. And while you're doing that, I'll unwrap these because these are the extra crystals that you can buy separately, right? Can you buy them separately? Yeah, you can buy them separately and touch them and like switch them. So if you want to have them all, you can have them all. You can have all your chakras aligned. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So first is clear quartz. It symbolizes abundance, amplifies intention, intensifies spiritual healing and growth neutralizes and protects against negative energies. Oh, okay, so clear quartz from my research, um, it's the most abundant crystal in the world. So if you're new to all this crystal stuff and you're like, eh, I don't know, uh, maybe you wanna start with clear quartz because that serves all of the chakras. Um, and I've actually done a taste test before <laughs> and it's a, it's a little weird. But if you put a clear quartz in a cup of water and just have a regular cup of water and you do a blind taste test, you can taste the difference. I can't explain how that is different, but uh, it just is, so. Yeah, in my home, in my childhood, we always had clear quartz in our, what, in our like, how would it call it? Kitchen? <laughs> 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 no, that scene where you keep water. Oh, water cooler? Water, not water cooler, but like glass thing with the water. Pitcher! Yeah, like in our home we always had a clear quartz in a pitcher. I don't know, my grandma oh. just knew something. <laughs> she, she knows. <laughs> yeah, she knows. She knows. <laughs> Next one is black obsidian. It's so cool. I know, it's like yeah. mysterious. It symbolizes grounding. Ooh. So it enhances mental clarity to see one's own truth, purifies toxic energies, promotes inner strength. Ooh, okay. So this serves the root chakra. Mm -hmm. And what I like about obsidian is um, it basically is a mirror into your soul. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> um, and one of the big metaphysical benefits of obsidian is that it uh, shines a light on your shadow self and all those traits. So basically what that means is your shadow self is traits like anxiety and depression and anger. So this helps guard your soul. It's like your mm -hmm. little your little spirit guide mm -hmm. and it protects you from all of that and helps you feel safe and grounded. I love it. Cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, okay. Next one is Amethyst. So amethyst symbolizes enlightenment, connects you to the wisdom of the universe, calms and soothes turbulent energies, and strengthens intuition. What? Okay, so this one serves especially the crown chakra, and that connects you to kind of your higher self, your higher power, whatever it is that just connects you to just the wisdom of the universe. And it's really great, especially for meditation and just if you have a problem or you need kind of that like internal guidance, you can often seek that within yourself and Amethyst might help guide that to you. Yeah, and by the way, this one was the one which was sold out first. It was like gone in oh. a couple of days. So people yeah. really into Amethyst. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then last but certainly not least, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. This is my stone, so I, I will definitely use this one for my crystal water bottle. Rose Quartz symbolizes connection, releases painful emotions, strengthens relationships, manifests self-love, compassion, and forgiveness, Oh, Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know, I love it so much. We did an entire video on Rose Quartz before, um, so be sure to check that out because that takes a deep dive into really how to use a Rose Quartz crystal. So yeah, Rose Quartz of course serves the heart chakra. Um, so this is actually how you do that. What? So you disadage them. Okay. <laughs> and you... You just screwed it? Yeah. Okay. You put this crystal on this platform this time. Awesome. And so I think maybe someone's concern might be, okay, if I drink this bottle, um, is the crystal going to come off and stab me yeah. in the throat? <laughs> well, if you look really closely, the crystal is very well secured to the stainless steel base. So even though it wiggles around, um, it's securely fastened, it's not going to break off, and actually the crystals are professionally cleaned, tumbled. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a good quality crystal. So, with that being said, Let's talk about how much these go for. Okay, so they cost 84 bucks, mm -hmm. which sounds pretty pricey if you just like hear it first time. But if you think about it a little bit more, this crystal itself might cost you like 25, 30 bucks. So thinking about creating a water bottle, like it's glass, it's stainless steel, it's really great quality with like great packaging. I think it's a fair price for this type of bottle. And it just looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Uh, another concern I think people might have is how the heck do you wash this thing? Right. Well, uh, the glass bottle is, uh, you can wash it in the dishwasher, uh, but it's recommended that the crystal bases are hand washed with warm soapy water and then just let it air dry uh, separately. So if you put it together after you wash it, you might get some condensation over here. So just let it air dry. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can charge it. If you want to charge it, you can put it on your windowsill under a full moon. Okay. And charge your crystal. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, and if you want to learn more about the crystals, their website has descriptions uh, a little more in depth and they also have different mantras and intentions that you can set for your crystal. So really, this is all about mindset. Whether you believe in it or not, maybe it's legit, maybe it's a placebo effect, but if you feel different afterwards, who cares? It doesn't matter, it's fun. And we'll actually include an exclusive discount code in our description, so be sure to check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments which crystal you would want because I'm personally Curious. I think for me, amethyst is like my crystal. Rose yeah. quartz is your crystal. Yeah, rose quartz is mine. So what is yours? Yeah. Tell us more. <laughs> let us know and let us know if you want to know more about crystal energy healing because we definitely want to hear from you. Um, yeah. Definitely give our video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I'm Mel. And I'm Natalie. And we're the product review gurus. From Yoga Lifestyles. <laughs> <laughs>